Rob, obviously, good news on the, the you know, sort of case against Will being dismissed. Oh, well, Chudley, I think it's one of those ones. I think it's probably it's probably good I make a statement on it first, really, because it all seems a bit. Um, I think when it all happened on TV, I think what people need to understand is quite a few things happened that actually nobody is aware of. Um, I mean, I think first and foremost, the important thing that people need to be aware of is the incident was seen by the TMO, and although that's not been. Uh, it wasn't put down in the site by the sighting commissioner. It was seen. Um, it was looked at in detail by the by the TMO, who decided, in his opinion, it was accidental contact and didn't feel that he should bring it to the referee's attention. So it was it was dealt with at the time. I think probably then it was a little bit naughty in the TV to keep uh, replaying it and showing it because I, I kind of think there's a bit of an unwritten agreement that once an official has made a decision on something, that that should kind of should be the end of it. Obviously, then. Uh, we went into the sighting and I think what people again need to be aware of, there was an angle that hasn't been shown on TV that does show pretty clearly that the ball is available for, for Will to play uh, and it's open and it's quite fair for him to have a, uh, have a play at the ball and, and he, his leg, leg does receive a pretty big deflection um, off Matt Mullins knee and thigh as he puts his foot in which brushes it against Joe's head and, and I think what the people need to be aware of as well is that wasps, um, you know, with, with Di and Kevin Harmon, you know, the wasps uh, officials and management after the game were great. They didn't think it was a particularly bad incident. Um, they were prepared to, re to report that after the game and to the sighting panel, uh, sorry, and to the disciplinary panel. And Joe Launchby himself um, put in a very positive statement in, in support of Will that he didn't feel it was um, uh, anything other than a very minor incident and can't really didn't really think anything had happened untoward at the time either. So I think when people actually stop and in the cold light of day and, and realise everything that happened, you know, A, there was a big deflection, B, the TMO did see it and made a call, then you've got a disciplinary panel who come to the same decision having looked at all the angles of footage and Joe Launch, we didn't think it was anything major, neither did Wasps. I think the right result has happened um, and that Will Chudley, a guy who's never had a yellow card in his um, professional career, and is one of the least penalised players in the Premiership, can play in the final. I think everyone would agree that's a good result. Is, that, is there a bit of an issue with um, this happening? This does seem to have happened a few times recently where footage goes on being shown and, and mm. it ends up being because there's a bit of a noise made about something. Whatever um, the TMO said that then the disciplinary process to be, reacts to, be, to that. I think to be fair to the whole process, I think probably after after what happened and what was sh uh, and the initial angle that was shown on TV I can completely understand why the sighting commissioner put it forward um, and on that basis it was probably correct sighting but I think now that the result has happened I think it's important that everyone actually understands what what the process was it wasn't a process that we sat down in a meeting and someone went oh it's quite a big game for will suddenly next week let's let them off the process went through was very thorough they obviously had different angles that haven't been sh weren't shown on TV and weren't discussed mm -hmm. and and I think the and I think the disappointing thing probably for the, from the TV perspective was that it wasn't made clear that the TMO had studied the incident and had decided that it was fine. And that's probably where 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 it's a bit disgruntled and that Will had to kind of has had to put up with two or three days of TV footage being shown and people making comments that he should be um, he's likely to be banned when actually they're not looking at the, the correct footage or indeed putting forward the correct information that the TMO had made a call on it. So do you think if that had been if that had been made more obvious, do you think the sighting wouldn't have been brought? It's not for me to say. You know, all, all I can say is I, I was in the meeting last week. I thought it was dealt with very professionally from both parties, including Wasps. You know, like I said, I, I've got to give Wasps great credit and particularly Joe. You know, I think you know he's the guy who can put forward the, the biggest evidence of what happened there on the floor. Um, and how severe any contact was, and how he felt, whether he felt there was any malice there. And I think for the WASP management and for Joe to, to be so positively in support of Will tells its own story. I don't think too much more needs to be added to that. How, how big a boost is it for the team? How big a boost is it for, for Will Shudley? Um, and has it been at all a distraction? I, I don't think it's been a distraction because we dealt with it very quickly and the, the, the actual process was very was very fast and well and well handled by the RFU, so we have no issues there. Um, I, don't, I think Will's a pretty level-headed guy for us as a team. It's important because he's been playing very well yeah. for us. Uh, I'm not going to deny that, but I think the most important thing is that Will is free to play in a very important game because he deserves to and he hadn't done anything to deserve him for him to miss it, and I think that's the important thing. Oh,